All right, still going with my video marathon for the week. Um, it is Thursday and it is November, is it 14th? I don't know if I said the date right yesterday. Now I'm thinking about it. Anyways, November 14th. Have I gotten the dates wrong all week? Anyway, okay. Um, let's start with some multiplication. Then we'll go back to lesson uh, 17, right? So we're still working with multiplication and division. All right. Okay. Um, by now you should definitely have this solved first and then checking your work, but I'm happy to go through it. Um, this could definitely be something maybe you like fast forward through if you are completely and totally, uh, with us here, 18, 19. And if you are not, please say something in uh, class the next day. I'm sure Miss Moose and I will see your work, um, but you got to ask. I've put it on the warm ups as well. Okay. Three times one, three, three times eight is 24. No bump needed. Pay this dust zero. Three times one, really 30 times one is three, and then 24. And we're adding these partial products. A product is the answer to a multiplication problem. 43, 34, notice all the way, always lined up, always, 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 always. Three times four is 12, I'm carrying 16, 17, one number in each place value, done with the one. Pay this, this, three times three is nine, three times four is 12. Two, 16, two, three, four, one, okay. 56 and 65, always lined up to the right. All right, six times five. Mm. Let's drink some coffee, stay awake. Six times five is 30. I'm gonna drop the zero, bump the three. Five times five is 25 plus three, 28. I'm done with this three. And I'm also done with that five. So I need to make sure I'm starting in the tens place because that's the number I'm multiplying by. 60 times six, 360, but I'm gonna drop this and then carry the three. And then I have six times five, which is 30 plus three, 33, 14, six, three. Okay, last two, 74 times 84. 74 sets of 84. I'm going to have 16, drop and bump. Four times seven is 28, plus one is 29. Done, dust. Eight times four is 32, drop, bump. Eight times seven, 56, 57, 58, 59. Add six, 11, and 6,216. All right, then I have 52 times 43. Three times two, six. Three times five, 15, or three times 50, dust. Four times two, eight, 20. Six, 13, two, two. All right? So I know you may still be working with the, out, with the um, lattice or with the area model, but this is certainly faster, especially because we're going to be making sure we all know our multiplication time tables. Um, all right. So let's get started on um, some jokes. Okay. All right. Let's see. I don't know if I've had this one before. It's very possible. Um, how do you teach math to a duck easily um, with the help of some example? <laughs> Um, that does, does make me laugh, actually. And I think I have another one. Okay. Which is the cold? Oh, this is what I was trying to talk about last week. Which is the coldest triangle of all? An isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two sides and angles that are the same um, out of the three in a triangle. So an isosceles triangle. Okay. All righty. Uh, let's get to work on lesson 17. Okay. Hopefully by now I'm writing neat enough and I am 
meeting that requirement and that you can see everything. Um, but okay, we're still multiplying and dividing fractions, picturing things in our head. So we know what we're doing with it, okay? All right, a container has two cups of milk. How many one-third cups of milk are in the container? Remember, how many one-thirds in one? Oh, three in one. So I'm going to have three times six for six, which will be 18 sets of one-third in no, wait, I multiplied this wrong. Oh, my crazy pants. Okay, I'm so sorry. I mixed up everything. And that is what everyone uh, does every once in a while. So no worries. We'll just try it again. <laughs> if I have one-third, how many sets of one-third in one? Oh, three times two. That's going to be six sets of one-third in two. I don't know what I was doing there before. I got all mixed up. Okay, let's look at the next one. Tammy's road is eight-ninths kilometers, so not yet one. And she's running two thirds of it. Do you see this of the her road? I'm gonna take the two thirds and I'm gonna see of the road. And then I'm gonna replace those words with the number. And that's actually what we do in math, right? We use words to, to craft and then we drop in the numbers where they belong. So we have two times eight, three times nine, 16 twenty sevenths of a kilometer. So like not one yet. She's not, she's not running a whole kilometer yet. That's actually short. All right. This is going to be fun. Uh, let's check, check this out. A rectangular tile measures one foot long by one third foot. So let's see what that looks like. Rectangular one and then one third foot. All right. I know area is length times width. So I'm going to have one times one third. So I'm going to get one third a square feet. That's the area of each tile. Sweet. <laughs> Rhymed. Okay. How many of the same tiles would be needed to cover a bathroom wall that measures 25 square feet? Okay. Now I want you to picture this. This is the amount of square tiles times five, right? So there's like a whole bunch of these. I'm not going to be able to draw all 25, but you get the picture, but dot, dot, dot there. Okay. So if I have 25, I'm splitting this up to know how many of my one third square feet tiles splitting up by one third to know how many, because remember, um, if I'm taking my 25 square feet and I divide it by the size of one, I can find out how many were in there. So we do 25 divided by one third. I know that in one tile, I'm sorry, in one square foot, I'm going to have three tiles, right? Three tiles in each one. So it's going to be three times 25, which is 75 tiles at one third square feet or 25 square feet, okay? And that makes sense because if I have 75 times one third, that's gonna be my 25, which is what I wanted for the number of square feet. If I have 75 tiles, at one third square feet measurement. That's what I'm gonna get. So this is just a check. Okay, um, let's look at a pan of brownies. A pan of brownies is three fourths full. So not all the way, but then Ron is eating three fifths of the remainder of what's left. So I'm gonna replace this with what was left. And I'm going to get three fifths times three fourths. It's going to be nine twentieths of the whole pan. Right? Okay. When it came out of my printer, it was orange. I don't think it's orange for all of you. It's probably white, but okay. A leftover tray of mashed potatoes. Uh-oh. So it's one fifth. The tray will be shared equally between two siblings. So it looks like I'm taking one fifth. 
and I'm dividing it by two siblings, which means that each sibling will get one half of the one fifth, which is one tenth of the tray per kid, right? Each kid, sibling. All right. A uh, container holds 12 cups of mint chip ice cream. Mm. Oh, I guess I should have used cups before when I did my Layla Sky uh, problem. Anyway, if one half cup of ice cream is in each serving, how many total servings are in the container? Well, if I have 12 cups, and that's what I'm starting with, and I, each of my servings is one half each, I want to know how many. If I have one... I'm going to have two in each one and two times 12 is 24 servings of one half cup in 12 cups, which makes sense because there's two halves in one. All right, let's look at the last few fluency practice. If I have two divided by one third, how many one thirds in one? Three, three times two is six. If I have one fifth divided by eight, I'm splitting it by eight people. Everyone's getting one eighth of one fifth. That's one fortieth. If I have eight divided by one tenth, there are 10 one tenths in one times the eight I have. That's 80 parts. If I have two Thirds times four fifths, I'm multiplying it across. Two times four, three times five, I'm getting eight fifteenths. All right, if I'm going backwards, I did hmm, six times three, and then that's it because my denominator was one, so this was just three, the whole number three. Hmm, and then let's, let's go backward here. I need to have 20 as a denominator. 3 times 5 is 15, and I had 3 twentieths, okay? So hopefully that, hopefully that helps and that you had that before you even got there and you got to check it with your flare pen. And, um, and then now you should be moving to your study guide to make sure that you are good to go for Tuesday. All right, I will see everybody in the morning. Good night.